Skywatch Media News for the last week of September 2021. Residents of the Potomac Highlands and the Shenandoah Valley were startled when an immense sonic blast shook parts of the eastern panhandle region of West Virginia, as well as northern Virginia, on September the 17th. According to NASA's Meteoroid Environments Office, the shockwave and seismic shaking were produced by a bolid weighing between 50 and 100 pounds that entered the Earth's atmosphere, traveling at 45,000 miles per hour. The pressure wave produced by the meteor explosion was picked up on seismometers and infrasound instruments, where a quick analysis of the signal indicates an energy equivalent of a few tons of TNT. The sonic boom was recorded across a number of locations. The GOES-16 satellite imagery produced a bright flash of light the equivalent of the brightness of the full moon, above Hardy County in West Virginia. Shortly thereafter, Volcano Discovery published an unconfirmed report of a magnitude 3.4 seismic event. A lone image taken by a passing motorist near Weston, West Virginia, shows a contrail of bright white smoke streaking southwestward over the eastern skies just before fragmenting in a flash of bright light, followed by shock waves and a rumble of an explosion. The cosmic blast may have produced meteorites somewhere in northern Virginia and eastern West Virginia. Based on information that was provided by observers, the meteor's trajectory stretched southwestward across the Potomac Highlands from Cape and Springs in the north to the Lost River. Among those observers was a pilot flying at 36,000 feet over the Virginia-West Virginia border who spotted the object with a long white trail. According to the pilot, the object descended quite low, well under 100,000 feet. Within minutes of the explosion, the pilot experienced a large thump followed by air turbulence possibly associated with the meteor shockwave. Other observers reported a fiery explosion in the sky, followed by a brisk wind and a whistling sound. Here are the meteor and fireball events for the week of September the 18th. On September the 16th, an asteroid as big as a 747 jet skimmed the Earth from the direction of the Sun, and because the asteroid was hidden by the Sun, scientists did not see it coming. The asteroid, dubbed 2021 SG, has a diameter of between 42 and 92 meters, with an average diameter of 68 meters, which is the approximate measurement of the wingspan of a 747. Most asteroids that are detected by space agencies approach us from the direction 
facing into the interior of the solar system, coming towards the Earth and the Sun. But as in the case with 2021 SG, it came towards Earth from the direction of the Sun before heading outwards. It is extremely difficult to see these objects as they approach us, especially during daylight hours when the sun's glare inhibits visibility. The best time to spot these objects is during the twilight hours, as in the case with all objects that are located between the earth and the sun. We could have easily been caught off guard by asteroid 2021 SG as it passed at a very close distance between the Earth and the Moon, passing by Greenland and Canada in the late afternoon hours. Although this may seem like an isolated incident, there is an argument to be made. On September the 7th, within just hours of its passage, astronomers in Arizona detected asteroid 2021 RS2 coming from the direction of the Sun, passing within just 9,500 miles of the Earth's surface. At the time of its passage on September the 7th, it was the closest an asteroid had come to hitting the planet in 2021. Since that time, another asteroid has come even closer to striking us, which I will talk about later on. If asteroid 2021 RS2 had hit us, it would have done little, if any, damage since it is only three and a half meters in diameter. But the same cannot be said for asteroid 2021 SG, which is big, and was traveling at 23.8 kilometers per second relative to the Earth. If it had hit us, it would certainly have made an impact. However unlikely an asteroid impact may seem to some people, it remains one of the most dangerous natural disasters that could take place on our planet. Even with astronomers watching the sky 24-7, an impressive asteroid event is possible at any time, especially if it is coming from the sun's direction with no prior warning. It's hopeful that the NEO infrared surveyor that NASA is currently developing will have the capacity to detect more than 90% of all larger near-Earth objects by the year 2026 which may help all of us to feel a bit safer. On September the 17th, a newly discovered asteroid designated 2021 SP flew past our planet at a distance of 8,765 miles from the center of our planet, or 4,780 miles from the surface. This is now the closest asteroid flyby of 2021 and it is the tenth closest on record. The space rock has an estimated diameter of between 12 and 27 feet, and its close approach took place at a speed of 32,144 miles per hour. This becomes the 90th asteroid to pass within one lunar distance of the Earth since the start of the year. On September the 23rd, a skywatcher located in Manchester, England, was stunned when he discovered a bright light moving silently across the sky at high speed. He managed to record the object's movement on his cell phone. The footage shows a circular spot glowing in the dark as it travels in a linear direction from right to left. The mysterious object appears to be much brighter than the star seen in the background. Video recordings of objects that are unidentified in origin, such as these objects taken from the Arizona desert in 2017, are difficult to capture since they must always take place at the right time and in the right place. But as usual, there will be a great deal of speculation, as there normally is with so many UFO sightings. Although no one knows for sure what was seen in the sky over Manchester, those who watched the video were mostly in agreement that the object was not the ISS, which orbits the Earth in 90 minutes, moving at a steady but slower speed across the sky, and also that the object was moving too fast to be a drone. Stay safe, everyone. Thanks for watching, and always keep looking to the sky.